Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, basically, I had college exams. I just finished them last Friday and today is Sunday. So delighted to get them out of the way. It was kind of a stressful time. Um, so great to have freedom now for the summer. That takes me halfway through my Ag Science degree. So uh, two years done and two years left to go. So a nice midway point, which is a relief. So a lot has happened here at home since my previous video. It's been extremely busy for the lambing because dad, um, or some of you might know him as the boss man, he went for hip surgery five weeks ago. So lambing season was very hectic because um, he had to rest himself. He's doing well now and um, he's five weeks um, since his operation and uh, he's doing great. He's walking around on the crutches. Um, my, si my aunt or dad's sister is um, a physio so he's getting well looked after and he's making a great recovery but just it's been so hectic because myself and Kyle my brother had to practically lamb all of the mounted sheep ourselves and uh, we've also been doing some tailing now recently and then I had all my exams to do so it's just been absolutely crazy and I could not get a video made or edited and um, so today's video that I'm going to show you is a draft that I made so I hope you enjoy that video guys I'm so sorry that it's been so long since the last one I will try to keep it more regular over the summer months as we start the shearing thanks so much for your patience and support and your kind messages enjoy the video Okay. We need to go like this. <laughs> You're going to sing it now, Simon, to the fairy land. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. To start off today's video, we are going to be putting the first of the home flock mountain sheep back to the mountain. So we have them all branded with red paint. So what we're putting back is all of the singles that gave birth to black face ram lambs, black face yo lambs and chevet yo lambs. So we're going to leave the chevet ram lambs down off the hill. Hopefully we might be able to get these lambs finished or sold early if they stay down on the green grass for a bit longer. We're also going to keep down the twins for a bit longer too, just so their mothers are able to produce enough milk. But these singles should work out perfectly fine. The Chevet Yo lambs will be sold for breeding so there's no real pressure for the lambs to put on condition. 
and they're a good hardy hill type so they're well able to survive on the mountain. As for the black faced lambs, this is what they're bred for and they'll be perfectly fine on the mountain for the summer. Next time we'll see these girls will be in August for the shearing. As long as we get a few dry days in between, it'll do just perfect conditions for growth. So you can see the red paint, that is the flock mark. So we're able to dif differentiate our sheep from other farmer sheep on the commonage. The Cheva Yo lambs seem to do great on the mountain for the summer. They'll come down after a few months. So these girls, we won't be gathering them again until shearing time, so really early August. They had their Cosicure boluses back in December. They've been in superb condition since that. So we didn't need to give any mineral doses, which was great. We were so impressed with the Cosicure bolus that we're going trying it out on another few sheep that we have. So you'll be seeing that in the next week or two, hopefully. Really happy the oats are in great condition throughout the winter. And it means that we're able to leave a lot of them on the mountain for a lot longer before lambing. So some of these have only been down for about four weeks, really. The twins have been down longer and a few two-year-olds and first-time lammers. Good girls. probably about an hour sorting out whose lamb is who and then they'll slowly start making their way up through Bray and up on top of the mountain. So hopefully by this evening, if the weather is okay, they'll be well up. If the weather does stay bad, they might stay down low for a few days. We'll see.
Attaboy. Attaboy. Lambs are starting to get a bit of orf. So you see that red mark on his nose? A few of them starting to get that. And I will have to treat that. So what I might do is get a bit of antibiotic spray in the vet. And that should kind of keep it under control, hopefully. Do you ever hear these um, Irish cures? I'm not sure I'll go about using it yet, but if it does get worse, you never know. How are you? For the rest of the afternoon we went sorting and organising some mules that were taken off the mountain for the lambing because they were scanned for two lambs. These yoles would be from the same flock where you would have seen my scanning part 2 video with the drone footage. So these yoles were all scanned for two lambs, most of the lambs are shevets. This is because we put out six shevet rams for a few weeks out to the mountain before we let out the blackface rams. We started doing a bit of this just so that the earliest and strongest lambs would be lambs that would be looking to be selling. A lot of the blackface lambs we'll be keeping for a lot longer so it's no real problem if they're the younger lambs. Also the blackface rams are a bit hardier and they're able to stay on the mountain for longer. Hello! She's at the road there. Rebecca, you open the gate, thank you. Yeah, she lambed yesterday. Yeah. Come on, little dude. Come on. I think they're two days old now. Super Mum. Remember my poem, Super Mum got in the paper? Really? Yeah. Oh, you're you're claim to fame, Mum. I wrote a poem about you. <laughs> yeah. A few poems got in the paper and I'm minded. Any moment now. So we're just bringing them in in small bunches, keeping them with their lambs. 
There's a few to lamb still down there, so we're just bringing the ones that have lamb. The three amigos! <laughs> Come on. Follow the old. All right, so next, a few of the half-bred hoggets that have lamped. We're gonna move them to some fresh grass. Dolly has a lamb. Not Dolly, June. Oh, June, yeah. Don't bring it all out. Close again, we're sucking the Oh, Dolly. The sheep, is that what you're talking about? I know, I know you're a baby. Hi everyone, thank you for watching the video. I have some exciting videos coming up. I will be working alongside Bimida again and will be bonus in yours with Cosicure and we'll be treating lambs for ticks um, with Dectospot. So exciting videos coming up. And then of course the shearing season. We have our first day of shearing either tomorrow or the next day. Um, a big bunch of 450 or 60 hoggets. So an entire summer of shearing ahead of us. Lots of videos planned guys. If you haven't already, don't be sheepish. Hit the subscribe button and join the flock. And I'll see you next time. Bye.